Mamma mia! Babri bubri! <laughs> Hey, everybody, Dan here, and today we are actually in the Oculus Quest, which is not something I usually do because I think this thing is very hard to record, but this week Oculus launched something so exceptionally cool that I had to check it out. Oculus released hand tracking, which was a feature that was actually scheduled to be released somewhere in 2020, but they did it way early. It's not perfect yet, but apparently it is pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll follow the instructions and uh, we're gonna try it out actually. So um, we are gonna go into settings and then it says use hands over there. So since I have two hands, I think we'll show click that. So I'm gonna click use hands. My controllers have disappeared. Oh, I see something happening. Well, the positive is on the bed over here. Sorry for the mess in my room. All right, now my hands should be working. And they actually are. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, so basically clicking works like making like uh, a pinching movement which also lights up your hands which is pretty cool and uh yeah it just tracks my fingers surprisingly well actually we gotta of course try this out yeah this does work exceptionally well i must admit oh it almost went wrong there um it's not nearly as janky as i expected it to be sadly we can't try any games out with this yet so currently we're just stuck you know i think a very nice hand simulator I, I sadly can't clap that doesn't seem to work if i bring my hands too close together yeah, if I bring them too close together, it, it stops recognizing my hands and it thinks I, I'm just a big ball of flesh, which isn't too far off. Um, let's see, what can we do? We can control the user interface. Um, let's go to navigate. Wow, that feels cool. It feels like uh, Iron Man. Uh, library. We should be able to scroll by uh, pinching our fingers together and then moving, which does indeed work perfectly as advertised. Actually, this works way better than I expected. There is some, some latency. I think there's maybe like... 0.1 of a second it's noticeable but it's not too bad especially because we're not playing a game we're only navigating the user interface um let's see what else can we do we can go to the store let's see what do we have in the store whoops I, I seem to have accidentally clicked something by closing my hands i should keep my hands wide open um let's see yes 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 this works this works extremely well can i scroll sideways too oh no i don't want to buy the climb I actually do want to buy the climb but not right now i mean can I scroll sideways? That's the question. No, yeah, I can. Um, I, I, it just works differently, I think. Yeah, it does work, it did just work. Yeah, it works. You just gotta do it like more delicately. Um, what else can we do? We're pretty limited on what we can do, but we can go to the browser, I think. Okay, uh, browser. Aha, Instagram, it's Bozaro Riyad. I couldn't log in last time, which was months ago. So let's see, we can go to Google. Um, what shall we look up? We will look up ourselves. YouTube, somewhere up there. Oh, that doesn't work very well. Uh, I need to click YouTube. Oh, do I have stuff? Oh, like this. YouTube, I seem to have accidentally clicked something that I didn't want to click. All right, U-Force. No, I have no idea what that is, but we don't want to look for it. <laughs> Typing is hard. Okay, now we keep our hands wide open when we move over there to not accidentally misclick again. Where's my cursor? And then we go to YouTube. All right, so far so good. This is way more difficult than it looks, trust me. Okay, well, enjoy some Dutch YouTube. Oh no, copyright, quickly, scroll away. <laughs> Don't come to my house at night, Netflix. It would be so cool if I could type with my actual fingers, but we sadly haven't quite reached that level yet, but I'm sure we soon will. Uh, let's see, screen. You gotta really open your hands and not accidentally click everything in between. Door. VR. Okay, and search. Hey, look at us, it's us. It's me. It's my attempts at use so far. Look at that, I can subscribe to myself because I'm not locked in. Oh, marvelous. Oh, that's all our videos over there. I wonder if I, um, if I watch one of my own videos in my video, will I get copyright claimed by myself? Now, this does actually work surprisingly well. All right, now from here, I want to navigate to Instagram. I can click that over there, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to go to my Instagram. Hey, that is also actually working. That is me right there. No, I don't want to switch to the app. I'm on the phone. What do you think I'm doing? All right, cool. Yeah, this is me. This is me on Instagram. This is me being all artsy and shit, because when I'm not making VR videos, like a, a goblin in my room, I'm actually uh, a video maker person. So this is my artsy nerdy shit. Um, well, wow, I am extremely impressed with this. This is pretty amazing. I gotta be honest. This is my game. Sadly, we can't play any games yet, but come on. 
You can't deny that this is cool as hell. Yes, there's a big mess over there, don't, don't worry about it. Those bags are there for a reason. Also, I have the classic home environment, which I prefer much over the, the modern normal quest one, because one, nostalgia, oh wait, I can't, one, no, no, almost, one, nostalgia, two, it looks cool, and three, I can. <laughs> can I touch tips? Oh, 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 I can actually touch tips. This is perfect, look at that, marvelous. My whole family probably thinks I'm fucking mad right now after they hear me talk like this. Mamma mia. Babidi boopidi. <laughs> so I actually kind of wanted to show you how to turn this on if you haven't already figured it out. So we're going to do that using our hands. Whoa, this is amazing. Um, to turn this on, you're going to want to update to the V12 version of the Quest software. That's the most important thing. Just make sure you have that installed by going to settings, see all, and then you wait a bit for it to load and you go to about. And it should say version, and for me it says 12, and I don't have any software updates at the moment. Uh, if you have one here, just click it, let it update, and you should be good. After you've installed version 12, you are going to want to go to experimental features, click that, and then you will here have hand tracking. You will then go over here, just toggle that switch on, and you'll get a little tutorial explaining how to do the hand tracking and not slap yourself in the face and break all your fingers in the progress, which of course will happen. Um, and after you've turned that on, in your menu bar over here, you have gained an extra button on the normal settings uh, where you can switch between controllers and hands. Currently it's on hands for me, but if I click use controllers, my hands will disappear, they'll go very confused and uh, I have to find my controllers now, which is problematic. Um, I think I have one of them, there we go. Here are my controllers, now I just have my controllers as usual. When I click here, I can use hands again and uh, it's back to using hands. Which, you know, is uh, it's pretty amazing. I've now lost my hands completely, which is problematic, but hey, it worked well for a while. <laughs> but yeah, there's not much more to say about this. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope it was clear, um, to, you know, how to turn this on and how to actually use this. Be sure to try it out for yourself if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.